Ladies and gentlemen, this is Intervlog. I said this is Intervlog, and today we are in Niger State, Nigeria. We are in Niger State, Nigeria because of what is happening here. It is unbelievable what I am witnessing with my eyes right now in Niger State. What you are looking at is 1,000 new tractors for farming. There is tractors everywhere here, and more are coming. Different type of machine. Why? Because there is agricultural revolution in Niger State. Nigeria has just found out that the best way to save Nigeria from hunger is going into mechanized famine. And they go into it in full force. They have just realized that Ukraine is making billions of dollars by farming. Israel making billions of dollars on farming. Russia, the same thing. Netherlands, the same thing. Many countries in Europe based on farm. Why is it that Africa, like Nigeria that has good weather, land everywhere, free land everywhere, cannot provide food for themselves? And when I heard about this project, I became very happy because I found that they have now realized their mistakes. The Niger State Governor, Umar Obango, has just to say that he has procured 1,000 pieces of tractors for mechanized farming, which will be used for rice cultivation, sugarcane cultivation, corn cultivation, so on and so forth. And one important thing about this farming is that he is not alone. He's being supported by the President of Nigeria, and also by the United States of America, because the man who is in charge is actually from United States of America, whose name is Jerry Conyham, and he is the managing director of AWA, meaning American West African Agro Limited. He is the one that is supplying all the machineries that Nigeria needs, and the one important thing about him is that of irrigation machine. He is a professional in farming, he has supplied irrigation machine from Hink Manufacturing Limited, this company actually based on irrigation from United States. Therefore, the type of mechanized farm you see in United States is what you'll be seeing in Nigeria. During the interview, he said that what he is worried about is not a machine, is not the building. But what? The human. He believed that they're workers. They need workers. We have to have the people that work with us. Like I said, water, land, weather, the last thing is people. And that's what this agreement about today is. It's about bringing the people, and you have a governor that is finally ready to do something. Why? Because according to him, he said that there will be 100 farm estates, meaning that it will be built in 100 places in Niger State alone. And each of the place must have 10,000 hectares of land. You multiply it by the 100, it will give you 1 million hectares. And each of them has already gotten 100 million for the development. This is unbelievable. It's unbelievable. And that is the reason you are seeing machines everywhere and everything everywhere. And what gives me joy about this job is that this job is going to remove people from the street. There are small machines. There are irrigation machines. There are so many machines there that are just coming every day by day. And this makes me to be happy. Because if you could remember years, when I look back, there was a company in Niger State that is known as Niger Food Limited. This company has been closed for a long time. And now, based on what the America and the governor said, the company has also been reopened because it is a mail company where the rice will be cleaned and many, many other things will be processed before exporting to other countries or to be used by Nigerians. And there is so many things going on in Niger State now that everybody's expectation is very high. Especially in the next six months, there will be production of rice everywhere in Nigeria based on what they say. 
It's unbelievable, because this has been dream of every Nigerian to make sure that the empty land in the north is being used. And thanks to the Nigerian government who provided the opportunity for this to happen. Because first they had to provide the land, the plan, also the money. Now the American is worried about the workers, because having workers that is going to be in 100 farm estates is not going to be easy, and each one is 10,000 hectares. And on each one of the 10,000 hectares, $100 million for the machinery and building the house and everything and for cultivation. All these monies have been procured and the machine has been procured. Everything is now ready. And this is amazing. When I look at this, I say, this is the type of development I want to see, not only in Nigeria, but across the world, because food is very important in life. No matter how rich you are, if you cannot provide food for yourself, you are not rich anymore. No rich man that cannot provide food for himself that is rich again. Based on the good land and fertile land in Nigeria, Nigeria does not suppose to be a poor country. Thank God many people have now begun to realize that the mineral resources like petrol and oil is actually drawing Nigeria back. Because because of this oil, everybody is sitting down waiting for the day to go and share money in Abuja. Nobody is ready to work. Nobody is ready to go to a farm. Nobody is ready to do anything. Every month, the governors go to Abuja to get money and then pay salary and that is all. Nobody is buying tractors. Nobody is planning for mechanized farming. Nobody. The way Nigeria used to rear cattle 1,000 years ago, that is still the way they rear cattle today. And that is the reason you see has men attacking people here and there, because nothing changed. In Europe, cattle is no more there in this form. But who are you to blame? Are you going to blame the Qatarian? No. You blame the leaders who have now realized that they have made a mistake and they have started amending it. And this is the reason I praise them now, because it's not bad for someone to realize his mistakes. The point is that when you realize, what did you do? Of course, they realized and they started spending money on farming and they have already started it in Niger state. Therefore, other states who do not have the opportunity like Niger state, the governors could also do something, be buying tractors. Why not to use some of those money you are spending on buying four barn four SUV for escort? Use it to buy tractors. Start farming. Think about tomorrow. How could a governor be buying four trucks or four SUV and each one of them will cost him $200,000 and you buy four or five or six? Bulletproof. You don't have tractor nothing. Everybody's waiting for the day that they will go and share money in Abundantia. No. Empty land everywhere, especially in the northern part of Nigeria, where the land is fertile. So after checking all this and seeing this wonderful job being done by the governor of Niger State, Governor Umar Obongo, I say, yes, Nigeria has realized their mistake, and we pray for this to continue. There are so many empty land in so many states in Nigeria, not only Niger State, I believe Niger State is just choose for the moment because you can't develop the whole state in one day. It's just like what they are doing on electric power supply. So from one state to another state. Therefore, everybody must support the Niger State agro industry because that is going to benefit Nigeria. It will bring food in Nigeria and it will create employment and also make the economy to be very strong. By the time you begin to import less, consume only locally made food or produce food, your economy will get stronger. And this is why many people are talking about consumption of locally made products. You cannot be preaching about consumption of locally made products and you are importing all the food you are eating. This is what is happening in Niger State and I know everybody love it. I love it because this is the type of development I want to see everywhere I go. Thank you very much for watching. This is Innervlog. See you next time.